So, Valentin, we, my name is Grace. Yes, it's it. Grace. I am from Northeast, from Bahia, Brazil, and I'm living in Berlin, so 23, 21 years, so 21, 23, I forgot. So, <laughs> so I am DJ. And so since four years, I uh, like, I live from summer, summer in Germany, summer in Brazil. So then I come to work uh, uh, here also. And the topic for today, for now, is like uh, building communities as safe space, especially for queer people in queer community. I don't know uh, your experience about uh, what you, you can speak uh, about it if you have some. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's interesting. Um... Uh, well, I, I'm an economist. I'm interested in community currencies, and um, I mean, uh, like this, uh, like, um, uh, well, let's say, like intersectionalism. In intersectionalism, different different word is 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 a thing where which should actually concern everyone, especially me as a cis man. I would say, like a, a, a heterosexual cis man. So. German, like to one of the most privileged people in the world, um, but uh, like I have no professional um, experience with this. So um, just to make this clear from the beginning. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, no exp uh, experience with uh, communities. A kind of I don't know. Even as a hetero communities, I don't know. I think because uh, in my in my case, uh, yeah, I, as a queer woman, so uh, and also living the diaspora, uh, it is very. I think what is an uh, important need. So like to have this, to build this, to to have a a, a safe space, like to be to be free and and to be what you want to be without uh, fear and so and thoughts um, yeah, and, yeah, absolutely agree. yeah the idea is it's like so more people coming to to speak about but if i can tell for my side so since I uh, I lived so long time in Berlin and uh, we begin um, yes. yeah how's, how's Berlin compa compared to Sao Paulo I mean you said like you've been living like in, in both cities in both yeah but like the most experience that I have is, is like like it's in Berlin so with uh, a collective uh, called Mashup. So when you began uh, this with parties and and the, the pride, the gay pride in Berlin, like an alternative pride. So mm. and then we began to like to make parties also. I mean, Pedro thought here this the conversation does not need to be contained in a particular frame. <laughs> mm. Yes. I mean I can yeah. I can speak about my the experience that I had, so. But uh, it, this came from because we we was looking for yeah for parties in Berlin, especially where you can yes like be uh, like as for strangers strangers no of Deutsch is uh, Ausländer there is for us so between us and also hear the music that it, we love. So to be, because uh, uh, everywhere, I mean, Berlin is, is famous for for techno, uh, more that, that house or something like that. And, and we, it was like, uh, we speak more with ourselves and tell, oh, we need like to do a party. Uh, as we like with the music that we like, so and be with uh, with us. 
So, you know, so speaking your language, no, I'm, my English is not so, but I can understand, I can speak. My German is better than English. But uh, uh, this is uh, why we began uh, work like this, like uh, uh, mesh up. And now, I mean, I am also part for another, another community is called Oya. Oya is a bar in, in Kreuzberg, Marianne Strass. And so, so we are most uh, women of color. So and and since so long time was not so a place for women, uh, so like that, like where where you can be with ourselves. So and and also to yeah, just the more most of the part of the people are women that go there, and yes, this is place like where where we can be ourselves because i mean the world is, is hetero it's for you it's made for you <laughs> no i think it is for for white and and cis hetero so so do you feel marginalized like in in this society yes but not I mean, uh, this is really a, a strong word, no marginalized. Yes, yes, because if you, as as a woman, black and and gay, so you can imagine. So and as a DJ too, because uh, I am DJing since twenty one years. So when I in this on the beginning, I was like. When it was a party that I was invited, it was like a, was the once woman in the middle from I don't know a lineup from five persons. It was four minutes, and and one woman was me. So now, so you have more for sure, but you have to work for that. That that's why I was on the way, like to speak about communities because I mean it, it's. I think the way also to 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 reach things, you know. So uh, uh, to reach more 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 people around you to hear you. So I have to to make my own like as a DJ, I have to make my own place to play my the music that I like, like because I was not invited. For for festivals or something like that, like to be to make a, a name first. So and this is a kind also of community. When when I was invited, people to come to dance with me, like to to know to present myself, and and like how's how's the intersection of like your um, collective with let's say the um, gay man community in Berlin. Like I mean, like I mean, like saying queer does involve like so many people, and um, I like as I said, like I, I I've not 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 huge contacts like to this society. For example, I've never been in the lab. I've only been in Berkheim. But obviously, yeah. like uh, the the male gays um, have a really strong um, or like have 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 a lot of like meeting points and they have like a strong community at least in Berlin. Like we had a gay like uh, major in Berlin. So like how how is like how is this like? Do you see actually hierarchies of privilege in between like you as a black woman, a que black queer woman, and then like the the gay man in Berlin? And like what what is the difference between a white gay man in Berlin and what's the difference between a black um, gay man in Berlin? And like how where's like how do you all interact? Like this this. This would be my critical question. Like, well. I mean, of course, it's a hierarchy because also between so uh, the 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 gay community also uh, uh, is we we as women and and queer, so we also have uh, uh, less. I mean, less space to go, uh, uh, less parties. I mean, most of the parties is a lot of parties, uh, gay parties. 
so or places where just just men go in and, and work also in this way so it's more i mean the lesbian or the, the women who are queer also trans doesn't matter i think we are we are under this hierarchy of for the society also and then uh, uh we have to to fight more <laughs> can i say for my side so and and like also the 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 number from from parties i mean you can see even if you are not a, a gay so uh, and doesn't go to to lab so you, i can count in berlin like like parties when most of the 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 the, the crowd is a, a, a well, clear woman yeah. i don't know if uh, i i answer your question but uh, you can ask again yeah so i mean that that is... Yeah, I mean, does it actually help you that we've got such a strong gay representative uh, like scene in, uh, in, in Berlin? And how does this actually influence living as the, like the queer community, yeah, let's say in Sao Paulo, because you, you know this, this, the cities, like, because like, I mean, I guess like the general goal that I, I guess this is my feeling that at least both of us can agree on and that, that at least most of my friends agree on this like we, we want to live in an egalitarian society where every every like human at least human can like live like however like she or he or they want uh, so, like, but like how far are we from that and like which steps do we have to to take and like what what are good developments like uh what and which developments actually influence developments in other parts of of the city or the other parts of the world and Yeah, that, that would be interesting. I mean, I mean, uh, we we are very very far. I mean, <laughs> now I mean near than than in the past. But uh, in the, I mean, just ask you like how many uh, trans people you know, or how many uh, like like doctor also in community. I, I mean, also like if you. Uh, if you give a work, who who would you invite for this work for this place? You know, or, or you leave uh, you look, check uh, who is around you. I mean, you know, you you know trans people, you know black people. Uh, uh, if you have a doctor, is this doctor a, a, a person of color or uh, is a woman uh, your dentist? It's a woman, or it's a, a, I mean, gender, color, and also sexuality. So all these things in, in option. In this way, I I look for myself. I begin with myself. I mean, change. You have to begin with ourselves, and then and then to 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 go bigger. I think that's that is the 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 begin for for every change in in this fucking world. And uh, it, just so I, I question you, you. No? You, you know somebody, uh, you know a trans person? Do you have uh, some friends that is, is trans? Doesn't matter uh, if a woman or a or, or, or man as a cis. Well, I mean, yeah. yeah, I think actually to make it more interesting, I disagree with this point. Because I think like, I mean, yes, of course, it's, it's a nice narrative that we all would have to change our life. And then the whole world would change, which does make sense. But um, like, for example, like like climate change, like we, we will never like tackle climate change if, if we because like nobody of us wants to stop flying. Like obviously for you, for example, it's very convenient to um, to to have like this intercontinental flight at least twice, twice a year. And I, I do stuff like this, too. But um, like this influences the climate in such a way that um, we call it like a climate disaster and um, this is actually this is my perspective this is what laws are for this is what politics is for so I mean yes of course like um, like we can talk about my friends now but um, I would also like I mean like like to have like some kind of a private life out of this conversation so I, I think actually it's, it's um, especially as a society it's 
it's uh, like we have to, we have to like ask like what are what are the structures and like that our society actually reproduces and like what are laws and uh, or like habits that um, that actually can um, yeah reproduce this um, um, so, yeah maybe, maybe sub suppression of of of, of queer and um, and um, marginalized people in a society to have to have a, like uh, some uh, disagreement here to, to make it more uh, interesting maybe for our our listeners um, yes I mean you are speaking I think about uh, uh, I think my uh, my experience also but the things is also <laughs> we forgot a, a bit uh, about building communities as a safe space also and as like a person I mean I wish could be somebody else also here uh, also clear to to change with us more than just uh, 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 this dialogue here with you um, and you I tell this is uh, how important uh, is in this world also for the climate change so like also to build communities and, and so to save what we have but uh, uh, if you don't begin for 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 our part, uh, doesn't come to this. No? I mean, also vegan people who who eat soja soya plantation also is not the the way to go. Uh, to mm. cut. Well, yeah. Mm. But but I think communities. You know that ninety percent of all soya is like fed to animals. Okay, good. Just just wanted to check on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's also from uh, from Brazil. I mean, yeah. But uh, yes, I mean you 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 have no no experience in this way or like good could be uh, without to be queer. So like like how communities uh, how important communities is so like as a safe space. Also like a cooperative. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, also economic, in this economic way also, like also as a safety space too, like like to a friend of, of mine has a, a, a space here to to build a community also, to to make, uh, um, to make together like the plantation, like to, to eat what they have. And so all this, this kind of, of community, so as as a small uh, groups to try to make something new and 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 to be stronger because i mean it's not easy in 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 this society also with like capitalism is so strong that you can you can fight then so like to to have a utopic uh, world where the the rights uh, uh, from marginalized people uh, it's it's the same. It's in balance with uh, everybody. I mean, I, I I don't dream about that. So I dream I dream about uh, 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 small small groups. So it doesn't matter the kind of. I mean, also with hetero groups, uh, also to to make uh, uh, to be yeah to be strong. I like to support support another people. That, that's why I was also speaking about like like to have. Uh, uh, to to check around your life or around the, the, your friends, yeah, who's make uh, thoughts about uh, my my dentist or the, the things that I use or the job that I, I have to go if I have a, a job a place to 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 give, which person uh, uh, should I give? So it's about that. Did you did you did you ever make uh, uh, like thoughts about that? In your life? Um, yes, but as I said, like I know that I'm privileged, so I I, I didn't have to make like a, like yeah. what do you know? Like I mean, I'm, I'm I'm privileged. Like I could be ignorant and not not think about it at all. I'm a white cis man. Yeah, so. my money thing. You you as a privilege yeah. person. So like uh, it's important also to, to think about that. No. Yeah. 
Yes, and uh, well, I think about it, but like to support communities. If you don't live, sorry, if you don't, if you don't live, you have any experience about that. But uh, like to support some mar marginalized people or, or or communities also. Yeah, like what 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 would you? I mean, what would you wish from me as an example? What I wish for you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you are asking like very, um, very direct and like. Uh, yeah, because I mean, this is direct. Because I, I are, know, like what, like maybe, maybe you can like yeah, just tell me, like what do you, what do you wish? What, what kind of support do you, do you wish for from people like me? Because there are a lot of like white cis men in in, in Germany, at least. Like yeah, the, the the this question that I make yourself. I mean, uh, just are you. Me and you here in this room, and I wish I wish that that uh, you look uh, which kind of communities you know. If you doesn't know, like to search, and if you can give some support, if you are able to give some support that that you could give, if you know uh, 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 some. I don't know some uh, trans, some 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 gay women so. Yes, or if you know some, if you have, if you think, ah, okay, my, my, my doctor, or where where I go buy things, so like that, you know, where I go, if I go out, okay, now you you have no, no place to go, are limited in this way, in that way, but uh, uh, yeah, like you make thoughts about that, so. Okay, well, I've got another very interesting question because, like, um, a friend of mine, um, which is a, a woman and lives together with her girlfriend, um, I think they are not married yet. Like, I mean, nobody in Berlin is married. <laughs> Just for, for the listeners that don't live in Berlin, okay. married. <laughs> like, actually, even relationships are, are kind of rare here, at least more gaming ones. Um, but uh, she asked me to, it was just on a party, like it wasn't really serious, but like um, we met uh, after a few years, we haven't met and we were talking, uh, like we were really happy to have seen each other and um, yeah, we were, were talking about her experience, like uh, li like living together with a woman now because like sh um, she, she also li uh, like lived together with men and we were talking about like getting chill, becoming, like getting children and um yeah, well, I mean, the end, the question was like, like, could I actually imagine like um, being a father of of one of their children, which like f first of all, I've been I've been drunk and I've been on a party where where I, where I thought, hey, wow, that's 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 amazing, that's super cool, and then but in the end, she dropped something because like, hey, but really think about it because in the end, it's like giving your children away, and like in the end, like. This was a very interesting question for me, like like how how to like how how to act or react as a man. I mean, it's it's not not really related to to this question of like of the queer it's it's related about discussion about like um, uh, semen donation. But this just comes to my mind to to, to give another like very, very interesting topic. Maybe what, what do you what do you think, Grace? <laughs> about about to, to somebody asking to have children with. Without to, to marry it like that, yeah. Or like, um, like is is it a, is it kind of support if you help your um, um, yeah, like um, LGBT uh, friends to have children? Like, is it's, it's also support? <laughs> yeah, it's not. Uh, I mean, yeah. Why not? If you know the person, I mean, if you don't know, you can you can know. So, in, in to to have approach. And why not? I mean, I, uh, I was uh, in the past. I asked a good friend of mine also, like, <laughs> let's let's have a, 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 a children together. But anyway, at, at the end, so I, I don't have children. But yes, you can you can help somebody. You can make somebody happy. If you if you can you can be a good father and support really no 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 I I shouldn't be a father like yeah. I, give yes. my, I give my children but away really, yes no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
in support in many ways, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, um, yeah, what I should say more about beautiful movies. Talking about like supporting queer communities, like, um, I mean, there, there's a lot of uh, stuff happening in Berlin, like especially the, the party scene. Let's talk about the party scene, because like, from my perspective, the party scene is actually quite queer. Like, if you go to Berghain or to other parties, and if you're not at least a little bit gay, then I have I have a feeling that you are that you are like some kind of weird. Berghain, Berghain is so long not not a queer space. And okay. Berghain was in the beginning. I mean, in the beginning and before it was called Berghain, mm -hmm. but now, I mean the last I don't know I can't remember how. Maybe two years ago, the last time or three, I don't know. But uh, my experience, my experience, that was not. I don't, I don't tell you that that should be a free space, because like that is become like popular and famous, and, and come echoes uh, uh, from everywhere. So uh, uh, yes, I can name you. Like I think. But it's also a way like to build in communities to be such of. Of course, for us as a queer, uh, I mean, like like the gay honey. I don't know if you know gay honey. It's the first. It's one of the first. Uh, uh, yeah, you see, gay honey. But some others can there. It was a time gay honey is where I mean, it's gay. You know, gay world. Gay honey is his house in 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 Arabic or Turkey. I, I can remember. But it was the first party for Arabic and Turkish people, so gay people with Arabic and Turkish music in Berlin. Oh, yeah. uh, and when I came there, this is about about safe. I can't I can't tell you the, like this feeling to be to be safe. When I came there the first time, I was like, wow, like to see like so many people that I could uh, recognize as. Yeah, as as a part of my community too, because there were so many uh, uh, outlanders, so many foreign people there. Uh, also Brazilian people, so then and Spanish people or, or from Latin America, and I was I can remember so so now how how good it was for me like to be wow I I love that I wanna come uh, and then what came to the time when when the security has to change some some rules because because the the was most of the people was hetero like was looking hey come on so it's like in Bergheim now and then it's okay you can't you can't ask in the, in the, on the door like Hi, are you hetero or not but uh, the the they make they change something in the door and then and it was was like better better in the, that way that was uh most of the people was like queer so then that that not queer mm -hmm. so yeah okay but so for you it was a really good feeling to uh, at least at least at this party have a major majority majority of people that you could relate in terms yes. of section of, like back background Yes, because uh, I was, I think I was just my um, my second year in Berlin, I don't know. Yeah. Just the year that when I went for such parties. So, uh, and when we do about mashup, when we build mashup as a community, also as a party too, was in that way because I was going most of the clubs you, where you can hear electronic music like uh, about blank, I don't know. So, and most of the people when I, I came inside, you know how uh, it is really strange when you look around you, and, and it's just uh, most of the people is white, and and also you wait for the music, and also in the music, yeah, uh, two pieces good, and and, and two not, and, and it's too much electronic. It's like if the same thing if it's of one one song that never ends because sometimes the beats the same so you never change that and then when i realized so like hey 
So we should like make also a party for us. So where you also play electronic music, but not just just electronic that you can't identify it is is if it's uh, one track or not one track or without end or many tracks different. So yes, it's it's a good feeling. So when you are in a space where you see, uh, yeah people that you recognize as, yeah, like, like with your skin color or... Uh, I mean, the, yeah. the interesting thing yeah. is like, I mean, like what happens when, when a lot of like non-queer people come to these parties and like suddenly you are not um, the majority at these parties anymore? Like my question is like, do we actually need special parties or special communities for for people to actually gather and feel safe because at least in this safe space they, they are the majority and like first of all do we need this and second of second then like asking critical is this actually segregation like like is this really inclusive like Segregation. I mean, it's not forbidden to you as a, a white hetero to come inside. First of that, yeah. I mean, to come to such and 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 yeah, yeah. segregation. Uh, is this like for me? Yeah, now? Sorry, sorry. Well, let's let's just, let's just say like maybe it's uh, like racism reverse, you know? Yeah. <laughs> maybe dividing up the society or like. Like, like, what, what would this? Mean? Sorry, I, I, I didn't want to like use this wrong word, but like, is this like, is this dividing the society, and is, is this optimal? Like, yeah, what is, what is the best solution? Like, I mean, so long the word, like, like, see, so long the, 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 the most, it's just so many people that are racist, they, they are a, a homophobic, and so you know. Uh, this world is, is is made for for men, for white men, and 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 and, 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 and cis. So, and if you don't have like space where you can uh, build up our our power, like to be to be safe, to feel to feel welcome, and to feel supported, so you just can fuck up. <laughs> I think as you know, you are not, uh, you are minority, okay? But because most of the, the population is, is hetero. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, if you are discriminated and so, how can, can you be safe, you know, as like a, a friend, a trans friend of mine? So just the way how she, her clothes are and, and the makeup, so, She's in on a party and and where most of the the crowd is is hetero and 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 men, so she can she can be in trouble. So me, uh, uh, I was in some parties also in Berlin, so where where men uh, grab on my on my ass, and I mean, so just. Like that, just come and 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 grab my ass, and I I, I just <laughs> turn turn me, and then I, I shoot him. So and uh, that's why. So you are in in Gifa, we have so in English. So if if you if you don't have if you don't have somebody that that around you who 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 could like protect protect you for such things. I mean, even the streets. So, yeah. So, like one thing that like we did all the time, because like like we made a lot of parties when, like in the collectives where I've been part of, like when when I was younger, like ten or eight years ago. Like we had like this awareness teams. I don't know uh, like how popular they are amongst like the clubs right now, but like um, if you know that there's a an awareness uh, team and there's like we would always have like this messages written on the entrance door and everywhere at the toilet inside the rooms so ab about the rules and that this this should be a safe space like is this does does this provide a better feeling it's also a way that that came also i mean it's that you found like to protect also like to be 
to, to give you so that feeling that somebody in this room is caring about, no? yeah. is caring about if, uh, yes, if, uh, if he's uh, somebody that is a racist or, no, or a macho guy. So, and then you can, you can be a bit more, more safe. So it doesn't matter that it's totally safe, but it give, give the sense. So, yeah, okay. There's, okay. A, there's something going on. Luis should check the email. Why yeah. can't, well, Louis, why can't he join? Ah, I don't know who is. <laughs> ah, Luis Cordero. Okay. Ah, okay. So, sorry. <laughs> Can you hear me? I'm live now, isn't it? Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Valentin. Hello, Grace. Hi. Louis or Luis? Luis. We Luis. say Luis. Hello. Yes. So, so I, 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 it was impossible to me to check in time. So I just got in as it was supposed by the email, this link. And I was hearing your conversation and uh, having a lot of fun uh, about the themes that you were talking about. Yeah. And personally, I can agree with all that you said. Uh, I live in Portugal. We have um, excellent relation, but still there are a lot of misogyny and a lot of uh, preconcepts. And um, something that I understand is probably people of my age. I mean, 50s, 60s that still are uh, CEOs or leaders, top leaders of companies, and their culture, their education was a little bit like uh, men working, women at home or similar. Of course, they could update it, but I can understand. What I don't understand is when I talk about millennials. And when we talk about millennials, much probably I can say below 45, below 50, I don't know, I don't know. And still, there are a lot of preconcepts and something that is absolutely, and I think it's a, a theme for for our conversation. We are seeing in Portugal a lot of domestic violation, but between young people. I mean, 15, 16, 17 girlfriends, boyfriends. And the thing that astonished us is when we ask to the girls or to the boys, the majority almost accept this kind of punishment that is, for instance, take the smartphone and uh, check it out. Everything that it's going to happen, check the photos, the likes, liking, some violence, some aggressions also. And we are talking about 14 to 18, 20 years old. This is happening now. What? What do you say about this? I'm not sure what's happening in your countries, but it's happening now here in Portugal, talking about 16, 14, 15 years old. Um, actually, Luis, uh, our topic uh, is just, maybe we, I don't know which part did you came from, but uh, it was- I'm out of the topic. <laughs> the, the topic, the top, uh, not, not really. But uh, there is uh, just to tell you, like, how is building community a safe space? And in that case, me as a okay, kid, exactly a woman okay. was speaking about that, and Valentin was making me question uh, All right. uh, how why it's important to have okay. community because he is he was speaking, he has, has no no not so much experience with communities and uh, you spoke about um uh young people uh, who is uh, um make a, some kind of violence against women or, or i i understand well, wrong. boyfriend and girlfriend the, that kind of relations as so uh, as yeah, be, wh why I said that? Because looking for in the near future in companies, working places, how can we have safe places like this? With this behavior so early, what can we expect? It was more or less 
going in this direction. I mean, what can we expect for safe places if we have this kind of behavior? Yes, that's that's why we need also one one more reason, like like to be to building uh, was like building communities as a safe space. Uh, so that was not we can also build in safe space without communities. Yeah, uh, I think my topic, my idea was like like uh, uh, because I think if you have a community that support you, it's easier like to with this community to create safe space. So uh, in my case was uh, as, a, as a woman, as a queer woman. So for me, uh, without without safe space or without community, uh, uh, there's no way, like, like I, I, it's very important for me, no? Uh, uh, because uh, uh, you, you all speak also about violence against women also. And that's why, so, some women need need some place like that, and what uh, Valentin was is, was speaking about, like asking myself, is this a kind of like separation or, or segregation? Uh, could you have everybody live together? So, and then I'm speaking. Yes, I mean you can build communities inside communities, and maybe if you are so so good in this way like have communities inside communities and then and then build a big one where i mean is everybody together but i i think we are far very far from from these ways that it, you don't you don't need like like communities to to protect ourselves as as black and and queer and also live in a, a diaspora we have some communities working. Some of them are, I will say, chapter of a global community, and they work marvelous. Especially, I will mention two of them. As I said, they are global. Is the PWN, the Professional Women Network, and the Women in Tech. And they work marvelously because they support a lot. And it's not for instance, the women in tech, it's not a question of IT, supporting IT, it's more than that support. Uh, they promote for young girls and place on companies and uh, well, they work very, very, very well. And they have, um, I would say a strategy that means they believe in collaboration. So each time that a man fulfills the, the strategy, the target, the behavior and so on, she, she's, uh, that man belongs to the community and helps women to be what they want to be, exactly like that. So those two communities, there are more women of wisdom. I'm talking about women, but also there are appearings for uh, another communities trying to fight for equity I, I mean equity and sometimes the people forget for instance deaf people or blind people or and they talk about sex or race but more than that also there are other aspects but um, again we have uh, some excellent communities that they work fantastic but um, still it's a jungle out there Still, is what? A jungle out there. Uh huh. Okay. So that uh, that way. So you know some some communities. So. Yes, and and I um, each time it's necessary. I work with them, um, you, you work and the, the most part of them, for instance, for women in tech, we do it pro bono. It's not a question of uh, charging or money. What? No way. It's again all the organization it's pro bono and we do it for free for helping for serve if you understand the, the serve the meaning of serve to help develop them. So it's okay. it's good. The, some of them work. I I think in our country we had we made a huge advance in the several a lot of questions uh, this century i am quite sure we developed a lot 
a lot, a lot. So we embraced. Um, it's not uh, the most part of the people. We are embracing a lot of difference and equity, but um, still there is a huge difference between the theory and put it working, uh, put it um, in practice. In practice. Yes. Okay. So. But I'm happy uh, when I look to the young people, I'm happy what they are doing and I'm happy for their future. And I think much probably the pandemic. Well, maybe I'm a little bit naive, but maybe the pandemic will help us to see with other eyes, with other lenses. I would say, Grass, <laughs> to see with other lenses. I don't know. Yes, maybe. I think, uh, yeah. Maybe. Let's see what's coming after her. I prefer to still keep my naive <laughs> behavior and believing. Uh, you, can, you can dream about it. Anyway. Yes. Uh, yes. So, Valentin, the house, you have some. You know, we have still, I think we still have like 10 minutes. Yes. Pedro gave us 10 minutes extra. Yes. Yes. So, so we can make some some question, have some thoughts about. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I found it very interesting, like to talk about blind and deaf people and like other people that are like not not, not mainstream, let's say. And exactly. I've been wondering, like, yeah, what? Well, I mean, th this is what like intersectionalism is about, like how I understood it, like there's different layers of like, um, yeah, suppression or like. Yeah, like being actually like, like where it's difficult to actually con like be part of, of the society. And I'm wondering like, like how much is this politics? Like what, like how is the, like, let's say um, queer community in, in, in Berlin involved in um, queer right movements in let's say Russia? Because mm -hmm. I, I, I think that in Russia it's, I mean, the it, it's a different reality than in Berlin. and like living in berlin like i i assume that the degree of freedom as a queer person is obviously far away from optimum and we really have to do a lot but still i would i would assume that like compared to to other um places in the world it, it might actually be quite high and grace please correct me if i'm wrong with this so i wonder like is this actually an international fight for 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 human rights that that like the queer community is actually fighting and that like we like me as as not queer like actually has to support in a political way uh yes i think we have uh, uh also, I mean, this kind of also of community, I think also in a way is, I mean, of course, it is not because somebody is queer, uh, I, uh, this person is also think, think uh, 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 polit political, in this political way, like uh, uh, on the, like me, you know, like myself also, also I can, you can have like in this world, you can have uh, so somebody this queer, but uh, is uh, AfD or, or here in Brazil is uh, for Bolsonaro also, you know, because I mean, uh, you are humans, yes, as humans, so you can do all these uh, uh, strange things, things. So like like as as a queer and 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 not not uh, not fight for 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 equality or for 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 rights. So no, uh, as you know, and uh, that's why uh, it's also yes important like like to 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 have also such kind of of person also and try to to speak with them. So uh, is, your, is the mesh uh, mesh up like communities is like do you have like international contacts where you talk about situations in different countries or like what what is your situation like in terms of international cooperation? Uh, you ask uh, in that as a mesh up as mesh up. 
Yeah, or like as you, as a person, or like I, Mashup is your community, right? Yeah, yeah, Mashup is, is uh, Luis was not in the beginning. Yeah, Mashup is uh, uh, my com one of my com one of my community in Berlin, as a, as another one. Uh, that uh, we began like to make the, the queer pride in Berlin and mm -hmm. also parties. So when we, where you could hear our music and be together as, uh, in our country uh, like Berlin or, or Germany. So my my experience with a lot of um, Communities on other country. I, I didn't understand. The yeah, like I mean, like like how's the connection to let's say like human rights movements in let's say Russia or like other countries where there's uh, like a high degree of suppression? Uh, me directly, not. I mean, I have this connection, uh, this strong connection with Brazil and 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 Berlin. Also, one time I had also with uh, Israel, but uh, with Russia. Directly not, but as a collective, we support like uh, artists from everywhere and and queer artists also. Now, if yeah. you now if you have to to when you make the lineup, you just check if somebody is uh, uh, needing also some money. If the artist or, or one association is needing money, you we. we Separate like ten percent from from this party, and then give to this association like that. It doesn't matter if it's in Russia or in Berlin, but uh, we work. We are not so big. We work more local, but in that way, like uh, artists from everywhere. So and most of their women and 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 queer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And like mostly related to party and music. Yes, as 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 mashup is is like that. Yeah. We we have a little community, okay, comparing with the size of the, our country, but also I will add with fashion, not only music, but also with fashion. Uh, people coming from fashion. And, uh -huh. uh, Okay, and um, uh, they have their pride parade. Not now, of course, yeah. unfortunately, uh, but uh, they have. It's not a huge community, but they exist. They support themselves. And again, with music and fashion, mainly they support and they make, uh, I would say a lobby, not nothing against lobbies, okay? Not uh, depreciative. I, I believe in lobbies and they, they work. Maybe they need more support or more visibility, but they exist and they help each other. Uh -huh. Is it with the name? Which name is this? Yes, that's my problem. I was thinking, and what is the Portuguese name? But I'm trying to check it out. Meanwhile, we are still we have some minutes, but it will be easy to find out. I, I'm sure, but. Um, um, unfortunately, we have an open mind, or generally, we have an open mind, so don't have so big issues. Of course, in small spaces, individual, it's quite problematic, but I think it's all over. Okay. I mean, like, coming to the last few minutes, like maybe, like still, my answer, my question is not like perfectly answered. Like, what can what can I do to support? Queer, queer um, um, emancipation. To 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 support yeah, to, to support your endeavor, like to support you. Let's say to, su to support your to support your community, and um, may maybe like let let's say like uh, not counting uh, come to our parties. Um, as an answer, I will listen to your music. Like uh, next thing, when I work, um, I, w I hope you can provide your SoundCloud link. I, I will do that. But like, <laughs> what are other steps that I could do? Yeah, I mean, uh, this this one is one kind of steps. Also, yeah, music. Like, uh, uh, how many artists you know that are uh, uh, queer and, and black? So you know, because it's all, it's all a kind of support. 
And that's and this if I ask you if you don't give no names to me, so and then I think you can begin to 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 search about like you can Google so for artists or you can ask myself and then I can give you a list or a list of names anyway. So it's also a kind of, of support the community. So, so if you if you hear if you new playlist is no artist, so there, there's no clear artist, then uh, it's time to begin to have to know some, you know. Yeah. As I mean, I I, I mean yeah. okay, everybody knows. Like I mean, uh, uh, Freddie Mercury is the head of. <laughs> I, I don't know from from the from the past, but uh, it's time to know. It's never it's never too late, Valentin. And I don't know what you mean perfectly. Uh, if I don't give a, a answer that's perfect uh, or, or that did not satisfy you, mm, yeah, well, no, no, kind of like because like artists. Because I my mostly mostly I don't even know the faces of the artists I listen to because like spot I I really trust the Spotify algorithm and the SoundCloud algorithm. Yes, but but you can go out from this algorithm, you know. Uh, uh, you can you, okay me me sometimes too, but my algorithm go inside also artists because uh, uh, the algorithm is based it uh, and that uh, kind of sound artist that you hear and then. They, they send you the, some something similar, and mm -hmm. if you need to put some names different in your playlist, so the algorithm can 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 play and, and help. I mean, the, the way if you if you stop and think who which kind of person you are uh, supporting supporting. I mean, it's, it's, it's like in the beginning. If you doesn't know any artist, if you doesn't know any kind of uh, uh, bla black art uh, uh, doctor or or women, he is 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 Taya Berata. I don't know. So in life, so people that that you give kind of of jobs because this isn't the way to, to give jobs. When you give your money or for for what you give your money, mm. so and. I, I think that is easy. My doctor is a, is female. My dentist is female, and even my professor, where I wrote my master thesis, is female. So, but they are all white. Great. Okay. So, yeah. Then you can you can begin like to to, to, to search. So it's some it's some how how many doctors, how many psychologists, uh, uh, psychologists of in in English uh, is black or, or you know. So this is uh, uh, or, or is gay. So and and uh, also the beer that you drink. I mean, so this is there are many many ways to to support. And and, and if you if you uh, begin to to ask yourself, uh, I think it's a good way. Well, in a good way. So, so it's small begin, but make bigger. You know, if everybody's. Uh, uh, think about it. Mm. So I think now is uh, we are we come to end. Grace, let me say so only just one thing. Yeah, of course, of course. The people say, and I'm not sure that Portugal is on the top three of the most friendly countries for LGBT. Much probably because. Ten years ago, we accept uh, marriage between the same gender. We accept transgender, and it's law. I mean, it's published. The, the government proposed. The president of the republic agreed, and it's on our law, on our constitution. Much probably that helped a lot because it was ten years ago, and nowadays. That's why I said nowadays. Wow! And uh, meanwhile, I'm trying to to find out the Portuguese name. I don't remember, but I remember that I heard a few months ago that we were at the top three countries more friendly to LGBT. Well, okay. what do we need? Much probably visibility. Much probably marketing. I don't know because even 
When I say that, it astonished me how the most part of the people doesn't know that because you can change your sex if you want it. It's legal. The country will pay for it. Ah, they can, they, the country pay for a part. Uh, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's not a, quite, a kind of you just reach the hospital and say, I don't want to. No, there is a process. But so it is on the, the, the legislation, the Portuguese legislation. Well, just edit this to the conversation. Okay, great. So I, I thank all of you. So, thank you, Sean, Valentin. Muito obrigada, Luiz. <laughs> Obrigado, Grace. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Sean, Valentin. Thanks also to Dialogue.